a huge, huge menu. Oh my goodness, where do we even start? And then I'll, I have to, I'm going to go with the sauce in. Oh my god, I'm on like page four of the menu. There's like, it's like a book. We like stuffed mushrooms too. It's always good. Eight pages yeah, to this menu. To... They even have a Portuguese section. Yeah, you'll have to take some pictures Ooh. of it. There's the famous smelts, right? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Okay. The appetizer, yes. And, well, a lot to choose from here. Page 10 are the children's menu, the sides, drinks. It's on an airplane right now. Oh, Did it not get it at all? No. It, I only got like two photos. Tell me what that tastes like again. You gave me a nice description before. <laughs> okay. And we lost it, so Oops. we're going to have to do it over again. No You're problem. still eating it, though. I'm still eating it. Actually, I think I've eaten about half of it. So, it is. the My initial bite, I took a bite of it with no hot sauce just the way it was and it did it had a nice little marinade bite to it it had a slight sweetness to it the um it's really well seasoned though the conch could have been just sliced slightly thinner but that i find happens even at very fancy restaurants they don't always slip so you get a little extra chill hey there oh 
And um, I do like that it comes with like these little Italian olives. And uh, once I put this on, the Frank's on there, this is excellent. It's really good. I definitely order this again. Excellent. Okay. So one down. Smell. Oops. That liquid it just spilled a little. All right. So this is the small smelt appetizer, the fried smelts. Okay. And I'm. I honestly don't think I ever actually ordered them here when I Everybody ate here before. Everybody raves about those, huh? I just don't like it at all. And? It's an. It's a very um, acquired Italian, like a marinade that they put it on, like a crushed pepper. And, Is it spicy? You know, and not really spicy, but very flavorful. There's definitely some tomato in there. Well, she asked if you wanted the marinated ones. Mm -hmm. A bit of vinegar. Um, That's good, though. You like your acid? So all the acid. Perfect. Thank you. Smile. Yeah. Smile. And, some more <laughs> uh -oh, there we go with the hot sauce. And now we get it where it needs to be. You didn't put much on there. Not too, too much. There's a lot of smells here for a small one. That's a huge order. Mm. And? Mm -hmm. Once again, Frank's comes through. Bring it over the top. Not too much. Brings just more flavor. Than it's heat. more flavor than heat. That's why I love it. It adds a little bit of heat, but it really brings a lot of flavor. Yeah. Um, works well with this. Good. Yeah. Mm. Love it. Love it. Okay. Yep. It's got a thumbs up from Dwayne. Absolutely. And we just got our salads, our regular salads that come with our meals. And um, I got the Italian, and Dwayne got. I thought you got the French, but I only see Italian on both of them. You might have to ask. Yeah. My salad looks great. Not just it's got iceberg. Some it has baby spinach in there. It's got a little, yeah, baby like spinach an and romaine bit. and a couple of things and yep, some. Yeah, there is. Little are those plum tomatoes or cherry? I think those are plums, not cherries. Um, they look like grape, but anyway, um, this some comes with onion? this comes with a meal. Yeah. yeah, it comes with a meal included. Our what did they call this? The Godfather platter for two. Yeah, the amazing part is they have the nerve to put for two on that. For a family of five. Maybe two godfathers. How big was he when he did you know, that last movie? And here's what I already know, yeah. because Needy is always thinking ahead. Can't help it. Um, we're going to have some extra sauce and ask them for some, because we're going to have some leftovers, I think. So leftovers. we'll do that. And they, I do have bread to dip. We do have some cheese and some... Uh, chopped red bread. pepper. Oh and yes, the sauce. You gotta, there. you gotta dip. You gotta dip. This looks amazing. Can't wait to dig in. Okay, so I've made myself a plate from that Godfather platter, as has Dwayne. Oh, yeah. We have some extra sauce coming, and Dwayne, why don't you go first and give us a taste? All right, well, that's a good place to start. The meatball. Mm -hmm. Meatball. What's wrong with a meatball? Mm -hmm. it's nice. It looks like it's real tender. Very Italian. Good. Yeah, and nice, soft, tender. Good flavor Good. coming through. Excellent. And I'm gonna try a little bite of uh, this is eggplant. Okay. Excellent. Mm. That just melts. The better. roasted red, right? That eggplant is super. Tender, tender. I'm looking, we've taken and created things. plates for ourselves, and there's this much left in this platter for, what was it, Dwayne, 21 or 24 bucks? I think it was 24. For two people? So Amazing. This is chicken with a little piece of the red pepper. All right. Mm. This is our server. By the way, we're on YouTube. Say hello. <laughs> and she's bringing us extra sauce. Wonderful. Yes, thank you so much. What are you doing? Like a... Um... Food, travel, and fun. Yeah. All kinds of stuff off this big plate. Oh, yeah. The roasted red pepper just smells and looks amazing. I'm going to try it with just... Mmm. Really good. Really well cooked. And um, I'm going to try the veal cutlet. Or the veal parm. Oh, is that the chicken? 
Yeah, it's either the chicken or the veal. No, that's chicken. That one's chicken. Is it chicken? Yeah. The well, veal I can't is. Until I taste. Is it thinner? The veal is thinner and just so so tender. You would not need a knife. Maybe extra oh, oh, sauce. Some extra. Oh yeah, they brought us a little bit of extra sauce. Mmm. So. Oh, it's a very wine based yummy sauce. Mm-hmm. You know what? This is comfort food. Oh, yeah. And the fact that I can have a pile of spaghetti, a pile of sauce, a sausage, eggplant, chicken, Did you show? Why don't you try the meatball, too? Because that's always a good thing mm -hmm. to test out. Absolutely. Oh, it feels really soft. It is. It's nice, tender. More sauce. More sauce. There you go. <laughs> good meatball. I, I like the meatball. That's really nice. And I'm a meatball connoisseur. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yeah. Comfort. This isn't the kind of thing that you go to a very expensive restaurant in the North End or at Federal Hill. But let me tell you, for the money, it's so comforting and so tasty. Absolutely. Really well, worth it. We're really glad we decided to come and feast here at Jack's. Friday night. That's right. On a nice casual Friday. Oh, and you like the pasta too, right? You got the spaghetti. Mmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we asked for extra sauce because it really needs it. Yeah, I think mine needs a bit of sauce. So let me say, watch. And, um, there's mine. But once it's all sauce, I need some up, sauce on just, there. And it needs um, a little cheese. But they send you the stuff to the table. Yeah. I don't know. She's been very good. I'm, I'm just very satisfied with this meal right now. It's like sometimes you just crave certain things on a Friday after work when you're tired. A martini, a big bowl of pasta, and delicious sauce, red sauce. This is classic Italian. Yeah. The kind of stuff you grow up eating at home, but when you don't feel like cooking, you want to come here and get a bowl of it. Well, when you can get your Portuguese mom to cook Italian. <laughs> But that's okay. We'll mine did, mine did occasionally. Mom. My mom loves spaghetti and pasta and stuff. So did so. mine, but it wasn't Italian. No, yeah, she had a different sauce. Right? Her little gravy. We begged for ragu as children. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I know you did. So. She hates that I'm mentioning this, but that's fine. That's okay. So love you, Ma. We're well, going to enjoy our meal Maybe now, you can come with us to Jack's next time. Just Look how much is still here after we've made entire I mean, plays. let's see. Oh, yeah, there's still quite a ways to go. Okay, well, we're going to work on it. Thank you. It's really good. I've never had anybody not like it. It comes with either shrimp, chicken, fish, or scallops, or you can do with um, my favorite, chicken tenders. First of all, we're Portuguese. We're Mozambique people. And the fact that you have a Mozambique for us to try that we haven't tried. Yes. Are you kidding me? Gonna this is going to be awesome. Thank you so much. Are you going to need drinks? I would like another one, of course. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, still going. Okay. Okay. Highlight her. So, yeah, she brought us a little bit of their Mozambique sauce that goes on everything. We're Mozambique connoisseur. No, no. We're Mozambique subject matter experts. Well, because we make it <laughs> as well. That's a good beak. It is. It's not awesome. as acidy as mine, but the flavors are there. And that's what... And I'm going to double dip right here right now to get no, more of the flavors. But the, I don't mind because I don't... The garlic, parsley, olive oil combo. Boy, a very, very good. Nice. In fact, acid aside, this is one of the better Mozambique that I've ever had in a restaurant. Nice. Let's see well, if you think the I'll same. I'll see what I think. Dwayne's going to try. Turn. And I Remember, see, I see, wait, I'm you taste this one go. Mozambique sauce, you've tasted one. All right. Nice sliced garlic, pieces of sliced garlic coming through. It's about the flavor. It's not about things that we personally, either brassy, lemon, and acid, and the flavors are excellent in this beak. I can taste the Goya. Yeah, it's got just a touch of acid. We like a lot more acid, but it has that touch. The Goya comes through. I like the garlic that's in there. I think yeah, for a restaurant? Uh, for a restaurant, it's seasoned very well. They did a really nice job. Yeah. Very, very. I'm glad you brought us a sample. It's now amazing. We'll, so maybe you'll order the beef next time. You never know. <laughs> I pour that. I pour that on like cereal. I mean, seriously, forget the milk. We could pour beak sauce because we're Portuguese on anything, but this is a really good one. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I like. Very it. Good. I enjoy that a lot. Actually, read the article. everybody well that was Jack's it and was awesome she loved it I loved it too 
You know, uh, I think it's coming up on quite a long time since either of us have been here. And I mean, uh, last time I came here, I lived up the street, and that was a long time ago. And I think my memory of it was skewed. Tainted, yeah. Yeah, I really, because I'll tell you, I loved it so much more tonight than I could ever remember it. And I'd come here a few times. So, yeah, I don't know if things have changed, or maybe I changed. <laughs> Probably either more way, likely, our but meal either way. was amazing and service. inexpensive. And the service was you know, great. She was and awesome. And we have enough left over to feed my mom for days. Oh, yeah, mom. So it's all great. Uh, you're and getting a couple pounds of food, mom. If you haven't been to Jack's <laughs> or if you're a follower and a lover and a loyal customer of Jack's, I now understand. Yeah. And tune in. We're going to include Jack's little stuffed quahog we picked up for our stuffed quahog challenge coming up. Coming up. Yeah. It's all going to be so, there. So, <laughs> thank you for watching and thank you for um, sponsoring and helping grow this channel. We're doing great and we yes, love you. Thank you, everybody.